Hey guys, what's up? Seven Meets Nick here, bringing you another Windows 7 tutorial. This tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to download and apply a custom theme that you have downloaded from the from a website other than Microsoft.com. Now, if you're actually actually wondering how I got this nice Gears of War 2 um, theme with the slideshow going on, I will show that at the end of the tutorial because it's really fast and really easy. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, if you're going to want to download and apply custom themes from other websites except for Microsoft.com, we're going to have to go ahead and patch the custom system files. In order to, do, in order to patch these files, we're going to be using a program called Universal Theme Patcher. The link will be in the description to the right. There are two versions, a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. I am on Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit, so I downloaded 32-bit, obviously. So once you get the program done, or downloaded I should say, go ahead and open it. The dialog window will come up saying, uh, choose your language. I'm going to go ahead and press English and press OK. Then the Universal Theme Patch Report window will come up. Just go ahead and press Yes. And then the program itself will come up. Basically we're patching 3.dll. We're patching, we're pa uh, sorry, patching the theme service.dll, the theme UI.dll and the UX theme.dll. Go ahead and press patch for each one of those. Once you're done patching, you're going to have to reboot your computer. Reboot your computer and come back to this tutorial. Alright, so you just rebooted your computer. Now what do you do? Well, first things first, I'm going to have to exit out the program itself. Now you're going to have to go on the web, such as deviantart.com, and download custom themes for Windows 7. There's plenty of websites out there. Once you found the theme, make sure it's for Windows 7 and you have RinRAR installed in order to extract the files. For example, I just downloaded Red Fusion theme. Now each theme's author is going to be different. For example, this guy led, uh, leaves me with at the Dark 7 Mix theme and the Dark 7 Mix photo which contains the wallpaper itself. We're going to be needing both of those files in folders, whatever. So I basically I'm going to go to my Start menu, I'm going to go to Computer, and we'll go to C. Windows, and I'm going to find a call folder called Resources. Then click on Themes, and I'm simply going to drag and drop these two two file slash folders. Once that's done, we can exit out of both windows. Right click on your desktop, go to Personalize. Now the personalization window will come up. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, basically, if you scroll down a little, you'll see a section called Installed Themes. Red Fusion, that's the theme that I just installed. So go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and press the theme. It's going to say, please wait. So it changes the theme. Now, as you can tell, it changed the theme itself, but the desktop background has not changed. In order to do that, we're going to have to go to click on desktop background and browse for the folder of the wallpaper. So going back to computer, we'll go to C, uh, Windows, uh, Resources, where's that at? Resources, right there, Themes. And for me, it's called Dark 7 Mix. And our, there's my wallpaper folder. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Now, this person has 14 images. And, and once you have one or more images in here, we can set up a slideshow. We can change the picture up to 10 seconds, up to a day. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with 10 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and press Save Changes. And there you go. I just installed the theme. As you can tell already from the background, the, the the um background image has been changed. Let's wait a couple seconds so we can change it again. There you go. See, there's a pretty nice slideshow and theme we got there. And it also changes this, whatever, whatever we got. Okay. So there you go. You just found out how to install a theme and apply it. Let's say um, you want to remove this theme. Well, simply, let me switch back to Gears of War 2. So there we go. There's my Gears of War 2 theme. Simply right click on the unsafe theme or whatever theme you want to delete and choose delete. It will move to Recycle Bin. And there you go. And since I don't want to keep the Red Fusion theme, I'm just going to go ahead and right click and choose delete. All right. So there you go. That's how you install a theme and apply it. Um, now, for all the people who want the Gears of War 2 theme, just go to your start menu and search theme. Then choose get more themes online. This will open up uh, windows.microsoft.com, I believe. Yep, windows.microsoft.com. And scroll down and choose the second Gears of War 2 theme. I'm not sure what the Gears of War... Oh, this is just Gears of War, the one itself, and this is Gears of War 2. So I'm going to download Gears of War 2, press download, and there we go, Gears 2.ThemePack. 
once it's done downloading just hit that file and it'll automatically install the theme and we'll close and cancel the download so yeah that's how easy it is to download themes from microsoft.com but if you want to download themes from other websites such as deviantart.com you're going to have to go ahead and patch some files so um but i hope you guys enjoyed this quick easy tutorial on how to install themes and apply them um please write a comment if you have any questions or errors please message me on youtube and we can solve it right away um yeah so subscribe rate a comment do what you gotta do and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial i'm seven meets nick and i'll see you later adios